demonstrating four channel dimmer switch with touch screen channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 channel 4 so guys welcome to the tutorial 2 so for uh, this uh, tutorial you're going to need following parts so you need the USB to TTL converter and the same Nixon uh, touchscreen and uh, the v mouse which we used in uh, part one and initially you need this four channel uh, it doesn't have to be four channel you can actually use uh, one channel or two channel whatever you have I um, mean just you need to modify the code a little bit and if you want to use it as is it's not an issue you just don't do the assignment uh, for these four channels uh, the main comes in here so let's look at the name how it is hooked up so you need to uh, hook this up to Vimos and it's pretty easy you take the VCC right here and you connect to the 5 volt VCC uh, you take the ground and connect it to ground so touch screen is also connected to ground so I am using y wire to connect these both to ground because they're only single ground so for zero crossing I connect it to D1 uh, need to make sure you uh, follow what I'm using uh, otherwise it may not work there's a list they show you uh, which one uh, which pins uh, can be used for zero crossing and input and output so you need to follow those to make sure that uh, you have it uh, connected uh, correctly otherwise it won't work for the channel 1 dimming I'm connecting this uh, to uh, D5 for channel uh, 2 dimming I'm using D2 and channel 3 dimming I'm using D0 and then channel 4 I'm using D8 and you can swap these wires that's not an issue but if you uh, wire it up exactly as I have done so you don't need to modify your sketch and your UI screen otherwise uh, it won't work uh, you know correctly so you need to go ahead and uh, you know open up your uh, project that you downloaded and open up part two basically uh, so this project go into part two and you need to open this uh, Arduino sketch right here so which I already have done and you can flash it to your uh, Vimos and uh, here uh, you can see I put in the uh, details uh, what pins these things are connected to and uh, I'm using and if you are have uh, like a uh, mega or other uno on other boards uh, instead of initializing like the uh, dimmer uh, variable objects like this you can comment these out for and then initialize them in this um, using this uh, um, code right here so the only difference is uh, for the ESP uh, chips it requires a zero crossing uh, in there and for the other boards they're listed here it does not need zero crossing that's the only change you need to make to make sure when you do change it you need to uh, use the same name dimmer one two three four for this one so you can copy paste this four times and then replace the name one two three four and then put in the pins right now it's a variable in here but you will do the same thing 14 4 16 15 whatever pin make sure you look at uh, which pins are supported uh, let me see if there's a so this is the official Robodyne library that works with your uh, ESP Arduino compatible boards so here they have listed all the most major boards and which pins they're using for input and zero crossing and output and some pins are available some not so follow this through if you're using a different board uh, otherwise uh, this sketch won't work so once this hooked up the next thing is uh, you we already I, I already showed you how to hook up uh, the touch screen so we need to make sure that both are hooked up and the next what you need to do is you need to hook up your mains and uh, uh, your bulbs make sure you use dimmable bulbs so you have to be really careful uh, word of warning that we are working with the 110 volts main and uh, if you don't know how to work with it uh, and so please do seek a proper licensed uh, electrician's help 
this is very dangerous. Uh, you can get electrocuted or uh, you can burn down a house. So, so to connect this, uh, it's very easy. The main, the 110 volts, and comes into this terminal right here. And uh, it, I think the dimmer works with 110 and 220. Uh, I ran into some issues with the 110, and I had to uh, add a, a function, map function in there to get it to work. Uh, so, and then you uh, connect your light bulb here. Uh, in similar fashion right here so the one wire goes to you know one uh, connector the other was go to the other so let's uh, hook it up and test it out okay so i already uh, flashed the sketch to the vmos and uh, it already hooked up and i opened up the serial window to see uh, the output so i'm going to go ahead the one thing i wanted to show you is uh, the dimming it was from 0 to 40 or something or 50 it, it was dimming fine and then after that if I go up it would uh, turn off the bulb and then from 50 to 100 it will go on again and then work so I'm not sure what the issue is so what I did is I put in this uh, mapping functions here uh, so I grab the dimming level for each channel and I map it from 0 to 100 instead of do 35 to 100 so at least it doesn't go when I set it to 50 percent it doesn't turn off so if for you, you may be using 220 and you're seeing an issue, comment these out and then directly use these values right here. Uh, put these values here and see if that works for you. For me, there was an issue. So I this is kind of workaround you can think of and uh, this is working fine. So here the sketch is same. The only difference is I added uh, additional uh, functions and stuff, little uh, sketch is not as cleaned up uh, as I usually like to do uh, so hopefully in the next uh, uh, part where we hook it up to Alexa and Google Home we'll clean it up uh, because we're gonna be adding a lot of code so I wanted to put this tutorial out it's been a while so I wanted to make sure that uh, you know we get uh, something out there so so we're gonna go ahead and uh, test out uh, four channel dimming now so I'm gonna leave the serial window open so we can see what's going on okay guys so everything is hooked up so let me see if I can get this right on the camera so you guys can see it. Um, it's not showing very clearly on the camera. I'm not sure because of lighting. So hopefully you were able to see uh, some of this stuff. So I have this LCD screen right here and I have uh, four bulbs. These good, these bulbs I bought uh, and they're dimmable, but they're not very good dimming especially on the uh, lower end of it and so I'm hoping to find something uh, different that I can show because uh, they do light on the lower end but it's very very hard to see so I got this four channel um, <clears throat> dimmer and the uh, Vimos hooked up so we're gonna go ahead and plug it in 110 volts coming in okay and if you see let me clear out let me clear out the uh, serial window. I'm going to reset the Vemos to see what the uh, um, settings are. And you can see on the screen that uh, it is showing uh, zero, zero brightness on all channels. So that's why they're all four are uh, turned off. So what are we going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on channel four. So you can see on the screen it's got selected. And now I'm going to slowly uh, bring the uh, brightness up and see uh, how it works. So this bulb is basically lit. Um, it's not showing on screen, uh, that, uh, but if you compare this to the other bulbs, they're off, turned off. This is lit. So if I go up on the brightness, you'll see it's going up. It's lighting up more. On the camera, it's a little bit harder to see, but those bulbs are... Um, uh, turned off so if I go ahead and I bring this down I want to test the channel 1 to make sure the channel bulb this one is gonna light up and uh, go ahead and bring this up so as soon as you let go it changes to the setting you're selecting so you can see this is barely lit I'm not sure if you can see it or not uh, let me see if you bring it down yeah it's gone so you can see, you can control each. 
so this is very helpful because what happened is like if you need to control these four bulbs and you don't have a room uh, in a wall there's only a single socket for your switch uh, it's really hard to put you know four different dimmers to control all these four and maybe you have a more or less uh, but this solution is pretty nice because you can add actually more button uh, smaller buttons in here and add more channels and you can control as many devices as you want and actually you don't have to have dimmers you can have on off switches and other devices also uh, so basically dimmables you should be able to dim and then the ones that are on off you should be able to turn it on and off but this is very very simple four channel dimmer that i wanted to do to show you how we can do that in the future tutorials we uh, you know based on the feedback from you guys we may mix and match and uh, do different tutorials but idea is to i'm going to uh, in the next future tutorials when uh, integrated with Alexa and Google Home we're gonna go ahead and install this solution so you guys can see from start to finish uh, how uh, this works so for now uh, this is it for this tutorial until next time bye